Hello my beautiful friends, my name is Alexandria and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be sitting down to film a little bit of a haul. So this is going to be a mix of books that I purchased recently and books that I picked up from the library. If you would like to see all of the books that I have picked up recently, then just keep watching. <music> make this a monthly thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing this to replace my TBR videos because I do still enjoy doing TBRs ever so often. Maybe I'll do both. I don't know. And then the people that prefer to watch haul videos can watch that and then the people that prefer TBR can watch that. Um, I'm not going to be getting too much into the synopsises of any of these books, but if you would like to see them in any future videos, let me know down below. I can maybe do like a reading vlog focused on any of these specific books. Just let me know. First things first, I'll just go ahead and start out with the books that I picked up from the library. This stack is very small because it's already like halfway through the month and so I've been to the library a couple of times already and returned some books. Um, I am going to be sharing in the future the library books that I pick up for my daughter and our homeschooling because I just think it would be fun to be able to share that because um, we're going to be reading a lot of really fun books especially since she has started reading. Um, not anything too crazy yet but it is very very exciting for me that she has finally started reading so I'm excited to share with you some children's books that we're going to be tackling. So that'll be coming soon, probably next month when I do my monthly haul, but I will just share with you the few books that I still have from the library. All right, so the first book that I have here is When We Were Orphans by Kazuo Ishiguro. If you haven't already heard about my love for Kazuo Ishiguro, um, I'm not sure where you've been because I have only read so far two books by this author, Never Let Me Go and Clara in the Sun, and I have just fallen in love with this author's writing. I don't know what it is. It's just so beautiful to me and so easily accessible to me as well. I'm excited to finally get to this. I have been feeling a little bit slumpy this month, so <sighs> yeah, but I am excited to finish this and let y'all know what I think about it. And hopefully add this to my growing list of books that I love by Kazuo Ishiguro. Next book that I have, I'm actually going to be doing a video for this one and another book that I picked up, um, but I will share that with y'all in the future. But the first one is The Giver by Lois Lowry. I'm actually not really sure what this is about. Um, I've heard people talking about it for as long as I can remember, honestly, and I'm kind of surprised that I haven't read it yet, but I am finally going to tackle it and hopefully I enjoy it as much as I've heard other people do. And the other book that I picked up for that video is Coraline by Neil Gaiman. This is one of my favorite movies. I absolutely love it and I'm surprised that I haven't read the book yet. I think I've only read one Neil Gaiman book at this point. I think I read the Graveyard book like a long time ago and I really enjoyed it. Excited to read this one and just read the story that's inspired Coraline, one of my favorite movies. I love the soundtrack, I love the movie. It just weirdly brings me a lot of joy. I am stoked to get to this and I feel like it's kind of the perfect time to dive into a little bit, a little bit of spooky season, just a little bit. Um, spooky season isn't normally my thing to be honest, but I'm thinking about approaching it a little bit differently this year, so stay posted for that one. And then the last book that I have from the library is Before the Ever After by Jacqueline Woodson. I really enjoyed Right at the Bone by Jacqueline Woodson. I read that earlier this year and it was wonderful. And I was looking through this author's um, kind of backlist and this book caught my attention. And so I decided to order it from my library. It looks really great. The cover is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I'm excited to dive into more of this author's writing and yeah, just get more of that magic in my life. All right, now these two books are books that I purchased last month, so I have already read these books. I actually talked about them in my July monthly wrap-up video, so if you haven't seen that video, I'm not sure if it's going to go up before or after this one, but if you haven't seen that, I will put a link to it somewhere. You definitely should check it out. I will talk more in depth about these books and my thoughts and my review and stuff like that. Um, but the first book that I have is The Deep by River Solomon. This book is going to go on my list of like my favorite books of all time. It just really hit that deeply for me. Um, no pun intended. 
I listened to the audiobook of this narrated by David Diggs last month and it was absolutely wonderful. I felt it so deeply. I don't know what else to say other than that. Um, and I am excited to read the physical copy because I knew right after I listened to the audiobook, I'm like, I need to buy the physical copy so I can reread it and also highlight a bunch of different things um, because it was so just mm, so impactful for me. River Solomon is such a fucking gift to this world, so I am just stoked to support them and read more by them because wow, wow absolutely incredible. And then last month I also picked up and read People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. This is pretty much the perfect summer read if you're looking for one, if you're looking for a summer romance. This is a friends to lovers situation. There's some smut. There's also some depth that I wasn't really expecting and it made me feel things on like so many levels. So like when a romance does that, you get, you get five stars for me. Spoiler alert and I highly suggest everyone check it out because it's great and I can't wait to read Beach Read I haven't read that one yet, but I've heard really good things. All right So moving on to the books that I picked up from Barnes and Noble on sale I pretty much got all of these books for like ten dollars a piece I actually had picked this up from the library and I forgot <laughs> But I was like I need to buy this because I absolutely love the cover. I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. It's very rare that I buy books that I haven't already read and know that I like because I hate having books that I don't like in my presence. But I discovered the wonderful world of Depop and so I'm just thinking that if I don't end up liking it, I can either use it for a giveaway or I can sell it on Depop. I did pick up the ones we're meant to find from the library and I also ended up picking it up today at Barnes & Noble. So this cover just really pulled me in. I had this on my TBR. I know for sure I had it on it for the Asian Readathon. I think I had it on it for my June TBR as well. I just have not gotten to it. Um, and I am just really looking forward to it. I'm really, really hoping that I enjoy it because the cover is so beautiful. It looks so good. I realized that it is a science fiction. I love science fiction, so fingers crossed it lives up to the expectations that I made in my head, even though I didn't really look at like what the synopsis was. But my expectations in my head are very high, so we'll see how this goes. I'll keep y'all posted. All right, so the next book that I picked up is one that I actually have read. I read it last year, and it was one of my favorite books last year. I have not gotten to read more by this author, but it's definitely very high on my list of priorities. And this is Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. I will try to put a link on the screen to whatever wrap up I talked about this book in because it was just super impactful for me um, reading this book and I knew that I wanted to have the physical copy somewhere in my home and also when I picked it up my daughter was like that looks like you is that you I'm like no that's not me but thank you this cover is just so beautiful and it's yellow like fits the vibe vibe check has been accomplished how do we, what? I don't know what that means. I feel like it's still very accessible in my head at this point, so I need to wait some time to read it. Um, but I'm definitely going to like suggest this to other people and maybe let other people read it once I make some friends. <clears throat> and then I just have two more books. I have How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House by Cherie Jones. I don't really know what this is about, but I've heard many good things from many different people. So I am looking forward to reading this. Again, I have my backup plans of putting this on Depop or possibly putting this in a giveaway um, in the future if I don't end up liking it. But I am excited to read this one, obviously. That's why I picked it up. And the last book that I have is one that I'm also really excited about. I have heard a lot of really good things from people whose opinions I very much trust here on the YouTube space. And this is Wings of Ebony. And I, this cover, like, can you, can you see a theme with like my favorite covers and like why I buy certain books? <laughs> it just looks so beautiful. I've had this on my TBR pretty much since I found out that it was going to be released and I just haven't gotten around to reading it. I honestly don't even remember what this is about. Superpowers or maybe magical realism. I'm not sure what's gonna be happening, but I am ready 
and excited to dive into this because it just looks absolutely wonderful. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you're doing well. Let me know any books that you've picked up recently or if you've read any of these books, let me know what you think of them down below. If you would like to see any specific videos with these books, also let me know down below and I will see y'all a little bit later. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're staying safe and I hope you're finding joy in whatever way it is that you can. I love you. Bye.